In this video, I'm recommending India places to visit which are lesser known. We're staying in my home state, Karnataka, as this state actually has a lot of lesser known but nevertheless amazing tourist places to visit. Our journey starts in a wonderful nature and coffee lovers paradise Saklashpur in this episode, after which we'll make our way to the coastal town of Mangalore which packs a punch of culture, beaches and incredible Indian food. Finally, we're coming back from Mangaluru to Bengaluru in the famous Vista Dome train. It's quite a lot so I've spread all the experiences throughout four videos which will all be linked below. Get ready for a wonderful journey especially if you love going off the beaten path. Right now, let's start at the beginning. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bangalore now for four years. In this video, I have the absolute privilege to take you on a coffee and coastal tour right here in Karnataka with Karnataka Tourism Forum. Hi, my name is Sanjay Ramam. I'm the president for Karnataka Tourism Forum, KTF. It's a not-for-profit organization that is dedicated to promoting Karnataka as a destination. Karnataka is a very diverse state. Uh, it includes everything except snow. So from culture to UNESCO site to culinary to fantastic driving routes, it's got fabulous wildlife, just about everything. So, you know, it's like they say, one state, many worlds within. It's going to be a crazy ride. So if you're ready, let's do this. Departing from Bengaluru, our first stop is this wonderful hotel where we're served a typical South Indian breakfast. Little did I know this hotel is actually famous for their top-notch quality of food. And after having the breakfast, I completely understand why people plan a special stop here on their way to Saklashpur. Saklashpur is the closest hill station to Bengaluru and only a 3-4 to four hour drive away. Especially with the summer heat rolling into Bengaluru in May and June, this is the perfect place to find some fresh relief in the middle of nature. Rosetta by Ferns is a new resort that I only saw on Instagram before but right now we get to explore it ourselves. The temperature has definitely dropped from the heat in Bengaluru and it is so refreshing to sit in the middle of coffee flowers while sipping a delicious coconut. I can't wait to see the room and discover more of the property, so let's go! Buggies transporting you around the property are so cute and the scent of the coffee flowers is insane. They are everywhere and everywhere where you look you can see only green, green, green and only green aside from the contrast with the cute buggies. Rosetta by Ferns is an eco-sustainable luxury resort and the first of its kind in Saklashpur. In the middle of a 100-acre coffee plantation, you'll find a refreshing pool around which the rooms are built. Despite the temperature drop compared to Bengaluru, the infinity pool looks so incredibly inviting, don't you think? I think we're off to an amazing start and we're here with amazing people so I really can't wait to see the rooms but this is already like such a fun activity just cruising through the resort in the beautiful buggies throughout the beautiful nature and the scent oh my oh my well we have reached the room or actually the suite so I'm happy to show you around there Welcome to Rosetta by Ferns. This stunning, luxury, eco-friendly property in Saklashpur is actually the only luxury property around the area. This is a property that I spotted on Instagram, instantly fell in love with the pictures. Now that I'm here, it's actually much better <laughs> than what you see on Instagram. The property is stunning. There are coffee bean plants actually everywhere. The rooms are built in the middle of a coffee plantation. There is a stunning pool and this suite, my oh my. I have a whole kitchen here behind me. There is a wonderful sitting area here, a balcony that actually also looks out on coffee plants. Mm -hmm. 
Then there is a bedroom next door with a very, very comfortable looking bed. But the bathroom, I think, is the absolute masterpiece of each and every room in this resort. This doesn't just come with a suite because you have a stunning, stunning rain shower, you know, the regular shebang. But then there is the option of showering outside. And this is the first time that I'm seeing that in India. I'm quite sure it cannot be the only one, but this is the first time that I'm seeing it. And I am beyond excited because this weather is super warm, a little bit humid as as you can see from my hair i'm turning into monica from friends <laughs> but then taking a shower outdoors must be just absolutely phenomenal so can't wait to do that in the meantime it is lunchtime and i cannot wait to see the buffet on our walk to the restaurant i am in awe it actually looks even better when you are going on foot and this place is just such a wonderful place to take walks and enjoy nature or take a forest bath as my friend Romy has taught me. The restaurant has an incredible buffet obviously with western and Indian delights. So let's just take a look around and see what kind of delicious foods they have. I'm so happy to see one of my favorite Karnataka foods here, Chitrana. It is actually a rice that's made with lemon. I love it. And of course, for the non-veg people, there's a lot more dishes that I couldn't all feature here. But trust me, there is a lot. So this is round one, round two. And I'm enjoying the coffee flowers while looking outside. The restaurant is fully open with glass. So you really get to enjoy the coffee plantation even while just having dessert. This is the perfect post-lunch activity or even a lovely morning activity. You have to take a walk through the coffee plantation because it is just so refreshing. And actually the trees are massive. I don't think you can see it here, but they are just really, really tall. And it feels like you're getting lost in a beautiful fairyland paradise that smells like coffee flowers. But, but it is actually a luxury resort, so we have to check out the pool as well, right? The pool looked so tempting and the view was just lovely but unfortunately I couldn't take a dip because we had a whole evening schedule planned with India Tourism Bengaluru and Karnataka Tourism Forum. Right now we are off to the Karnataka Tourism Forum briefing so we can learn more about what this wonderful organization does and why this coffee and coastal Karnataka tour is so special. I'm on this trip with another fellow blogger Vidya and 20 of Karnataka's top travel agents. So, there was a lot to learn for me. Coffee and Coast Tour is about Sakleshpur, which is a lesser known coffee growing area. Otherwise, Chikmangalur and Kurg are the ones which are known. But the whole idea was to bring about a destination which is lesser known. It has a fantastic property called Rosetta by Ferns, which is top of the class. And then we are taking this group of travel agents from Sakleshpur to Mangalore, from where we explored the coastal beaches of Karnataka. Karnataka has 350 kilometers of coastline, which is lesser known. What an incredible privilege to be a part of this coffee and coast tour with Karnataka. Tourism Forum and India Tourism Bengaluru. Now in the next episode we are heading to Mangaluru by road so it's going to be a very scenic drive. The hotel is going to give me a crazy emotional surprise. We're going to explore some culture and heritage places. 
and of course there's going to be some yummy food and a big finale so make sure that you're joining for that overall it was a very very fun day what do you guys think of mangalore and coastal karnataka and the coffee at rosetta by ferns let me know down in the comments below if you have been there or if you would like to go there of course also feel free to share this video and show as many people as possible about the beauty of coffee and coastal karnataka you can also put a thumbs up finally you can consider subscribing and joining 260,000 other subscribers it's free and you'll get a notification whenever i upload a new video for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye